Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about my boas. I only have two, so it's probably going to be a pretty quick video, so uh, let's get into it. This is my T-positive albino Nicaraguan boa. It is a female. She's about a year and a half old. She's maybe two feet long. This is a really pretty boa. I like the T-positive albinos better than the regular albinos. Uh, the T-positive albinos, uh, they still have the uh, enzyme that creates melanin. They just don't have the other enzyme that completes the process. So you end up with like this creamy colored boa and she has a lot of pinks and like lavenders in her side when i first got her she was really really pink and now she's starting to get uh, more of her adult colors in so she's more of that creamy color but she still looks really good and the t-positive albino don't get the uh the red eyes which i like i'm not a huge fan of the red eyes but these are a form of dwarf boa so they don't get very big uh as you can see, this girl's a year and a half old, and she's about the size of what a common Colombian or one of the true red tails. She's about the size they would be when they first hatch out, so not a very big snake at all. She'll probably max out at maybe five feet. But I definitely recommend getting one of these if you want a boa that stays a little bit smaller. Very pretty. Very docile too. I've never been bitten by her. She's never hissed at me or anything like that. Now as far as how I keep them, uh, I keep her in the same rack that I have my carpet python. So her hot spot stays between 85 and 88 degrees. The uh, cool side of the enclosure stays about 75, 76 degrees. Which so far has worked out perfect. I haven't had any problems with her. No shed issues or anything. She stays hydrated and all that. So seems to be working. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But a very pretty boa. But uh, now I'll move on to my favorite snake in my collection, which is my common Colombian boa. So let's go show you guys him. This is my common Colombian boa. It is a male. He is two years old. He was the first snake I got when I was getting back into reptiles. Uh, he is my favorite snake. He is beautiful. Uh, you can't tell, but he has a lot of reds and pinks in him, especially on his sides. Uh, he's about three and a half, maybe four feet long. But uh, he is in a bioactive enclosure. You can see a darkling beetle right there. He has isopods, springtails, all types of stuff. Got a bunch of isopods under there. But uh, he does well in here. This is a glass enclosure with a screen top. I know a bunch of people freak out about glass enclosures and reptiles or snakes specifically. But uh, he does well in here. Humidity stays fine because it's a pretty deep substrate. It's like four or five inches. He has a pothos in here that has taken off. It was just a few cuttings from uh, one of my pothos in um, my chameleon's enclosure. So this one's actually doing better than the plant I cut it from. But it took off. This whole vine right here has grown in the last like two months since I've moved. But this guy just has one heat bulb right here. It's a low wattage one. Uh, I don't have it on a thermostat or anything. The... Uh, Heat spot right here stays around 90 degrees, so I don't have to worry about it, but I check it like four or five times a day at least. Uh, the only other light on here is a grow light, which is sitting right over there for now. But yeah, this guy does fine even with a screen top enclosure. I know a lot of people worry about the humidity staying in and all that, but with a bioactive enclosure like this, I really don't worry about it. But this guy is absolutely my favorite snake here. Let me see if I can get him out. But I got some better lighting for you now. This guy is my favorite snake, hands down. 
So he's trying to climb up like boas usually try to do. But he's a beautiful snake. I think boas are probably one of the best snakes you can get, even for beginners. Some of them could get pretty big, you know, seven or eight feet, depending on how much you feed them. But this guy's two years old and he's not very big. He's pretty manageable size. But like I said with my Nicaraguan boa, if you're worried about a boa's size, then you could go with the, some of the dwarf boas. The dwarf boas stay relatively small. But I keep these guys pretty much the same exact way that I keep uh, that I keep my carpet pythons. You know, a hot spot between 85 and 90 degrees. Uh, my carpet pythons. They're in the rack, so I keep them at about 85. This guy's in this enclosure, and I keep his hot spot around 90. So there's really not much difference. Uh, humidity, I don't really worry about humidity for either one of them. No, he just wants to get out. It's hard to get him out, but then once he's out, he doesn't want to stay in. But this guy is an awesome snake. He was pretty hissy and didn't want to be handled when I first got him when he was a baby, which is pretty normal for most baby snakes, but he's a sweetheart now. He's never struck at me or anything, and he hasn't even hissed at me since he was, I don't know, maybe four or five months old. But he's kind of starting to outgrow this enclosure, so I am going to be ordering some um, PVC enclosures for uh, him and my biggest carpet python, so... Hopefully I could get those in a decent time. I'm probably going to order them from Animal Plastics, and as most of you know, they tend to take a little while, so I might have them in the next, like, four or five months, maybe. But look at his tail. I know a lot of people say the Colombians aren't true red tails, but that's a pretty red tail. I mean, it's not as red as the uh, Peruvians or the Guyanans or anything like that, but still a beautiful snake. But yeah, I recommend getting boas for anybody who doesn't like, uh, you know, like ball pythons, how they just stay in a ball and don't really move or do anything. If you want a snake that's a little bit bigger and actually moves around, then I definitely recommend getting boas. They're awesome. But thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.